This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. You can catch on the Nova Player app, you can catch his great podcast, it's all true, but he is back. Deal or no deal is back. It starts 6pm tonight, Channel 10 and 10 play. The brand new host, Grant Daniel. Welcome. Old <laughs> oh, mate's back. Here, Here he is. He is. Here he is. He is. What a pleasure to see you. Oh, I mean, this Hello, sh- Dale. Th- you know what, Grant Daniel, this show requires a lot of energy. Yeah, it does and it? And I can't think of a better person for the job. <laughs> yeah, because he can host, he can dance, and he can also pass out on Amazing Race and nearly <laughs> die. Um, so we know he'll go to the limits, which is yeah. good news. I don't know if you've seen the ad, uh, but it's it's eleven out of ten energy. There's yeah. a lot of high kicks. It's very eighties inspired. It's high camp. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of a lot of crutch damage done that day in that commercial oh, campaign. It's, <laughs> it's worth it for the art, though. Yep, it is, mate. To tell us, Grant, when they first spoke to you about this, mm. what were your initial thoughts? Because, of course, we all know Deal or No Deal. You're Andrew O'Keefe, yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. but uh, like, um, was there any hesitation, or did you think, "Oh, I've got this. I, no. could, I can do this in a heartbeat." I knew it was remembered pretty fondly. Like you, you talk to everyone knows the name Deal or No Deal, so that's 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 an advantage. That's a head start, yep, right? So yep. rather than trying to launch something that no one's ever heard of, that's yeah. that's a standing start, and that can be tricky, right? So I knew that people kind of grew up with it in their lounge rooms at six o'clock as Mum was making dinner. So it was sort of a part of almost the national fabric, right? But then you're like, well, it is a big format. It's been in eighty countries over the years, so there's a lot of pressure as to whether I can make it my own. Can I kind of level? it up? Can I make it more fun? Um, more funny? More dramatic? You know, yeah. The thing is though, Grand Daniel, this is the way I picture your life. Because I follow you on Instagram and I see what you do. Yeah. So you've got monster trucks, you've got <laughs> uh, you've got um, remote control tracks mm-hmm. at home. A house yep. full of children. You've got this farm life, which is really hobby farm because you're just making up, you're turning paddocks into toys and play oh. areas. And then <laughs> Shezzy oh, yells out the kitchen window, Grant! There's a network on the line. <laughs> and you have to stop being a child and yeah. come in and actually work. <laughs> yeah. Is that sort of how it works? Reluctantly, yes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> It's amazing what would happen, you know, when, when... See, I've got cows to feed. Like, I'm a farmer, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. just a man off the land, just a guy doing it tough, just trying to put food on the table for, you know, for three young girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. And look, uh, as, a, as a farmer, you guys, every time you have a meal, you've got to thank us, right? Because we, we've, yeah. we've grown that. Thank you, We've mate. grown that food for you, breakfast, lunch or dinner. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> but sometimes, you know, you've got to put on your big boy pants and go to work and remember uh, these kids schools aren't going to pay for themselves, yeah. so yeah, that's that's where I'm at, mate. So I, I put when, my radio control cars away and uh, here I am, deal or no deal, let's okay. go. Okay. You haven't worn a, pe- a pair of big boy pants for a very long time, Grant, Daniel. You're right, I've never still... owned any. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you ever got into Can, the big no. boy pants. <laughs> yes. Can I, Grant, I need to I don't ask... Know what his name was. Did you, you were just talking about having a bit of influence on the show as well. W- were you part of the decision to get rid of the briefcase girls? What's going on? Are they gone now, Grant? Yeah, I don't know if that would kind of I feel very 2024 to you sure. if yes. we sort of rocked out there with you know, I know where's the next Megan Markle going to come from if we don't well, that, do it, and I get true. I get that. Um, but no, we just decided that possibly wasn't a great look anymore to just sort of do the deal its thing, you know. So now the so audience the, holds it. Oh, 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 oh I was gotcha. wondering, do the audience right. have to wear the wigs? No, nah, so if you come along and someone in your section of the audience gets selected to play the game, right, to yep. win the money, yep. then your whole section will get up and then do the case opening. So you will be your very own Megan Markle. Ah, see, I like that idea because if you're going along and you don't get a chance to play, there's still a chance you might end up on TV holding the case. Everyone in the audience pretty much gets a, gets a chance at doing something. So that's uh, a win. That, oh, yeah, that's you're huge. All winners. Can you tell us what happened on Amazing Race when you nearly died, mate? Because sure someone can, bro. someone told me there was seven weeks of recovery. That's someone who's right. And uh, it was a hectic little situation. I've gone from home. So Bathurst in wintertime is Mm -hmm. minus four. We went to India, which was 47 degrees. And then I I got severe heat stroke. And I didn't realise how fatal uh, heat stroke can be. There were like 100 locals who died uh, in three days, the same three days that I went down there. So it was was a pretty hardcore situation. And I was was sort of, I was dropping in and out of consciousness and convulsing on the ground. And I said, Scared a lot of people that day. Scared my wife and the producer who was sort of holding wow. me as I was dropping in and out of consciousness. She was sort of convinced that I was I was going for good. So oh it was, my god! It was yeah, it was pretty uh, it was pretty scary. 
Dude, well, mate, it's good to have you here. Are you, I mean, you're still pushing the limit, though, with your body, though, Grant. Are you doing the Bathurst 12 hour? That's coming up in yeah. February. You're going to be. So, what are you driving these days, Grant? Uh, driving for Lamborghini in the Bathurst 24 hours. So, oh, look yeah. Out. Mate, yes. you know, motorsport's pretty big in my life. Yeah. And uh, Bathurst 12 hours is one of the world's greatest races. That's a sexy bit of tar right there. That's 6.25 yeah. kilometres of, uh, of tarmac. Oh, is. Yeah. oh, yeah. When you're slamming down from third gear into second in the final turn, you're about, about to bank a 202 around there. <laughs> oh, my God. It's as good as it gets. Kate Ritchie, do you need a cold towel? I wasn't listening. Oh, I heard something about out, car you? racing. Um, Grant Denia, <laughs> what? how did you go last year in the 12 hour? Oh, not so good. Uh, we crashed out. But the year before that, we uh, first in class. Yes. First in well class. Done. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, it's it's so good to have you back on our screens, mate. It kicks off tonight, 6 p.m. on Channel 10 and 10 Play, Deal or No Deal. And then yeah. also um, his podcast, It's All True, on the Nova Player app. Love you, Grant. Thanks for coming yeah. in, Legend. Thanks, Legends. All the best. Love you too. Thanks, See great you, man. Grant. See you, buddy. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.